You can pretend when on the ground, just like you're actually going to be roping on the horse, the more you make real application from this to the Smarty to live cattle, the better. So, like I told you before, as I'm moving towards my target, I want to make sure that my arm is back here when I get to this spot. So it really is, there's a lot of timing to it. Watch how I naturally just, I'm able to have my arm back right when I get there. Does that make sense? Yeah, I see that. And then even, even more so, most people will naturally either stop or back up when they rope the dummy, or they'll even leak out there. You watch kids playing around, you know, at the ropings and stuff. You know, kind of like they're emulating their horse getting out of there. It's really a bad habit to do that because sure enough, whatever you do here, you're probably going to do on the horse. You're better off not going out or back, but keep moving forward a little bit and see if you can get your slack tight. Yeah, okay. See as I keep moving yeah. forward. It's not comfortable for sure, no. but you, you can get used to it. And it was something I wasn't able to really show you guys yesterday, but um, I've talked about the right amount of distance and the rope to throw, but I didn't really show you about pulling the slack out between your hands. Well, watch my two hands here. See how I moved my left hand forward right there? Instead of grabbing tight and pulling this pull out, you end up pulling way too much slack, and then you do, what are you going to do with that slack? Some of you are putting that pull back in your hand, sliding it, and then dallying. And that takes another jump too long to do that. And if you don't do it, then you've got all that slack to hit that steer and produce a really terrible hammer. So when you, <clears throat> when you rope and go to pull your slack, just leave your hand loose and let the right hand be a pulley. So you're basically doing this. You're pulling the slack out between your hands. Some people you see do it to the side, but all that does is duck your horse out. So you don't want to do that. Uh, <clears throat> Clay Tryon does a really good job of running his left hand forward when he ropes the dummy. See where I went with it? By going here, <clears throat> you got your hand right where you can control your horse. You can get his rear end underneath him. Do whatever you need to do because it's right where you need to be with it.